Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, bud? Good, good, good. I'm not going to dilly-dally here. Okay. I'm going to jump right into it because I asked you a question. And I want to know, this might sound insensitive to someone. I'm sure someone will get upset about it, the question I asked. Welcome back, by the way. Hey, welcome back. Would you, if you went out one night a week for three months straight, do you think... One night a week? Go ahead. Okay. A fucking three nights a week, Joey. Is that what you want? At least two. Okay. At least two nights a week, every week, yeah. for three months. Okay. Would you get more... Let's, let's, let's put the baseline at phone numbers, okay? Okay. Phone numbers. Would you get more phone numbers as a straight man going for a straight woman? Yeah. Or a... Or a gay man. Or you gay. going for a gay man. Am I gay? You're not gay that we know of yet. But wait, why would I be getting gay numbers if I'm not? I'm gay? saying, like, do you think, like, if you were gay, yeah, do you think everything about you is the exact same? Yeah, you know, but you're gay, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you think you would be able to attract more straight women as a as a heterosexual man or a straight or gay men as a gay man? I think. Um, so, but like, am I? Doing it as like a contest like, No like you want Well I mean we're doing it as a contest So like imagine like we're like God And we're watching you do this Who's God? We are Me and you <laughs> together are, are, are sp- together sp- One are, God Are a split God Okay Yeah And we're watching this happen So yeah. you don't realize You just want to see what you can do What your what your glass ceiling is so Right to say. How would you do? Do you think you'd do well? I think um, probably more we're just talking about like phone numbers or like sexual interactions. Sexual interactions. Let's say that. Oh, I think definitely gay. Think so. I just think that gay men fuck more than straight women, like way more. How do we know though? Just from stories I've heard. You talk to many straight women and ask them how much you fuck. You no, fuck but a freak. You, no, but you've you've like, we've been in the game. We've know we know we what's going on. We have been in the game. On. We have been in the. I've game. never been in the. I can. I only have hearsay about the gay community, but I all I hear is bing bang boom. Orgy parties, dude. There's eight people a, at once. That's crazy. Guys shit. Guys are so like, uh, guys are so horny. So like, if you put, it's like two ends of a fucking, you know, magnet. If you put two ends of a magnet together, they're gonna not want it. But like, if they're both meant to be, and like, it's like super horny, they're gonna fucking just go at each other's little bussies. Right. You know. So I could imagine that like, was that a dolphin? Uh, that sounded like a little girl crying. The ghost is it coming back. For oh you? my god, don't. <laughs> um, so you think you'd do all right? Yeah, I think I'd be okay. I think I would too. Mostly, I have to say, my my butt is pretty nice. Also, like the ages of like eighteen to twenty two ish, like I feel like that's when, uh, like I I lived through that time. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, you have. Yeah, and I and I know how many pe- how many sexual partners I had. Oh, you were just fucking like a rabbit, huh? That's not. Here what I'm we saying. go, Joe. I know that I crushed. No, absolutely. <laughs> I know that I went to town on that's some not what straight I'm saying, Brooklyn bean bags. Listen, idiots. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I lived through that, so I know what I was capable of on one side of this thing. Oh my God. So you were a dangerous man is what you're saying. That's not what I'm That's saying. That's what you're saying. What you were capable of. If anything, I'm saying the opposite, you idiot. You were walking around with a weapon of mass destruction and it was your mouth, not your puss. What penis. the hell That's are you talking about? Like you were just like a, you were a quick talking, you know, I never understood that thing where they were like, Ooh, he was a quick talker. That sounds like that would be a fucking disaster. Oh, Ariel. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a disaster, you know, if they were like, oh, he's a quick-talking bad boy. And it was like, hello, baby, how you doing? I want to see you tonight. Yeah, it's like a fucking uh, auctioneer. (laughs) Yeah, like, uh, can you imagine? Yeah. Bro, auctioneers got to give fucking dope top. Yeah, probably. You have to imagine. Yeah. Where, you know, like whoever is, you know. The cunniling dong. Yeah, the cunniling dong or the fellatio. You know, I'm sure there are gay auctioneers out there. Are there, though? We don't know. There's got to be, dude. They do wear... Colorful hats and, and big hats too. Big hats. Yeah, they always got those like twelve gallon hats. They're big. Oh yeah, yeah. With the yeah, you know. I was thinking of a different hat. Oh. I don't know why, but I was thinking of like a hat with like stars and stripes on it. Yeah, I don't know why you're I, thinking I, of that. I, I don't but know. like, you have to imagine like if you're dating an auctioneer and you're just like, 
just go rattle off the price of a fucking 1967 Shelby. Yeah. It's like, I'll be right back. We're gonna be going on for a little bit. It's probably nice. That would be really sick. Yeah, there. That's probably one of the top jobs as far as car goes. Uh, or, or fillet. Why am I thinking fillet? I'm. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to keep it even keel over here. I know, but you know? we know what we're saying. We're not caring about. Also, the the fact that you can talk fast and move your tongue fast is more helpful when you're pleasuring a woman. I could. Yeah, I can imagine. It it's not like you're down there just, you know. I love licking that, a penis to shreds. I. Uh, <laughs> I love that the the common terminology for you know giving head to a man has been called a blowjob because there's not a lot of blowing involved. Like it's not like you're like. Do you know <sighs> when I was younger, I heard a rumor or someone may have been lying to me or maybe they were lied to, but okay. they but they passed on some bad info to me and okay. said that if a girl blows into your dick, you'll die. You could die. Yeah. I'm sure that's true. I believe that until probably right now. Bro, honestly, like, it's like <laughs> I don't not believe it. But yeah, like I heard that and I was like, so like for the first few like booges of my life, I was a little worried. I was like, yo, don't. Oh, because they just got, they had the fucking, they had a key to the nukes in their hand, basically. Exactly. I was like, yo, don't <laughs> blow in. I mean, you have to imagine it's like, I, I forgot what movie it was. I think it was The Ring 2, but like someone just puts a syringe of just air into their arm and they die because... Isn't well, that that's, like a, a, that's a bloodstream. Yeah. Well, I I could imagine that if you fucking bl- try to blow the balloon up, it's gonna inflate on the back end. You catch yeah, my drift there? I know, but I I don't know. I don't I don't think so. I think so, man. That might look it up. If you if you blow into a penis hole, will you die? If okay. you like, I I have to imagine there's some validity to it because like, what happens? Think about it like this: If I were to put a straw in your vein and just blew air, you would die, right? Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. What happened? No, I typed in, what happens if you blow into a penis? And it says, a direct blow to the penis and texicles. Te- <laughs> texicles, hear me? Um, no, let's type in urethra. Because now, now I think... you got medical here. A urethra. What happens if you blow air into a urethra? It, it, it doesn't really say... Oh, here we go. This is on Reddit. Blowing into the ure- are you 18? Yeah. Uh, what happens if you blow into guy's dick? As a non-dick haver... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on over there, Joey? Are you okay? <laughs> you are not a non-dick haver. I'm on Reddit, and Reddit is just like a mess, and I'm trying to find where that thing was, but there's 760 comments over there. Uh, typically, you will push air out of its... Oh, this is from experience, by the way. This is from Mischievous Dead. Well, so there we go. Uh, you typically will push the air out if it's a small enough amount and pressure, but if it is a large amount of pressure, it can force itself back into the bladder, which can lead to an infection or UTI. His presented as a kidney infection mm. that the doctors couldn't expect. That could be bad. So if you put like an air pump into your, uh, like on your penis hole, just blowing air into Holy you. Holy shit. He said, granted, I also did not tell them I was jacking off while pushing air from a syringe into my urethra. So this dude had an operation going where he was jerking off and putting air into his hole. What? Why That's would... what he's into, bro. This is mischievous dead talking. That's the mischievous dead, yeah. Um, uh, Probably would have felt that it was obviously pretty embarrassing. So... You know, he didn't say that. The next question, for some reason, on this thread, oh boy, <laughs> it says, "Oh, I gotta get to it because there's 700 fucking comments." Where is it? It says, "Does this is the best pussy I've ever had actually mean anything?" <laughs> yeah, of course it does. I imagine. Does it? I imagine. I mean, that's not something you use lightly. My boyfriend is always saying that mine is the best he's ever had, and it feels so good, etc. okay okay. but how much of that is just standard dirty talk can men actually feel the difference between vaginas honestly i don't know i don't know i I I would have to be like it would have to be like immediately after i'd be like okay you'd have to ask someone like a gene simmons or you know like a kareem abdul jabbar people who've had you know sex with thousands of women if like they can, because they're or like a porn star, that's probably someone that you can probably ask. Yeah, but I don't know that I would even remember like if it was like ten hours apart. Like it would have to be like immediately. 
You'd have to you'd have to dip. Test. I'm sure they feel like a little different, but nothing being like, damn, this one's like super fire, and the last one was like okay. Like, well, they're all know. it's it's like a it's like a snowflake. They're all different in their own little ways. You know what I but mean? Like day, no two snowflakes. No two snowflakes are the same. But exactly. But like, all snowflakes taste the same, unless they've been pissed on by dogs. I'm, I I guess I don't know how to. You've never eaten pissed snow in your life. N- you've never eaten not consciously. Well, that's what I'm saying. Accidentally, you never accidentally as a I'm, kid picked up snow, ate it, and go. There's piss on this. I'm sure I did. I'm sh- absolutely sure I did. Yeah, bro. We used to eat snow like it was going out of style. You used up. to eat a lot of snow. All right, take it easy. No, you used. No, I know that Just about. Slow you. the fuck down, Frankie. When you were young, you used to house snow. It was falling free rain ice. Man. Yeah, but you weren't catching it out of the sky. You I were- was taking an undisturbed, you know, little bit off the ground. There's nothing yeah. wrong. I wasn't going to like fucking the side of the road where the snow banks are and take some of that. Oh, I was I, like, I've seen you pull it out of a uh, out of a yeah. No, I don't out know of a about bank. That. Yes, I've seen you pull it out of a bank. Well, maybe I would, I can't confirm that I have always been this smart as I am now. I can confirm, um, but. Uh, like a nice, like a fresh, undisturbed lawn, and you just go and you just like, you know, wipe your hand in it and just alone. I like snow that's a little wet. Ooh, because then you could pack it. You could pack that bitch. Like right? a good snowball snow, bro. I, I don't know if you remember this, but like the, it was a thing. Do you remember the the? I I think I've spoken about this story before, but like the only time in my life you told me like, yo, be yourself with a girl. <laughs> What? Yeah, I've told this story. You you definitely remember this story. There was a Be girl. Yourself. There was a girl that you went. To, we were in high school or middle school, one or the other. I think it was high school. And there was a girl that was coming around the neighborhood that you went to school with, and you were like, I was like, damn, like she's cute, and you said she thinks that I was cute. Yeah. And I was like, what what do I do? And you were like, bro, just be yourself. Damn, that's fire. It's super advice. fire, honestly. Yeah. Uh, and I was myself, and we started dating, and she cheated on me. So it's also your fault. Well. She was herself, you were yourself. I clearly was, and yeah. she definitely was. Wait, why did you bring that up? What does that have to do with snow? Because my one of the the night that I met her, there was like a really bad snowstorm a couple days prior. So we were walking around our neighborhood and I was diving into snowbanks. Like just be like, watch this. <laughs> How old were you? Again? I was fucking fourteen. <laughs> And just like diving into snow banks, and this is when like and she was like, "Damn, yeah." This is when like the si- like the sidewalks had like the banks that were like set up, but they yeah. were not frozen yet, so yeah. you can fucking dive right through them. Right. Yeah. There was like one or two I hit that were pretty solid. Pretty solid, yes. Yeah, but that's a t- that's it's a, it's a it was you know, it was tough. It was tough. it worked. I mean, she liked that you sacrificed your body. Like she that. liked that, you know, and I don't understand why we do that. Like I've noticed this with Miles. Miles, to, like when there are like girls around or like in his school, he's like, "I'm gonna jump off the roof." Not, not. Well, take it easy. Yeah. He, but he'll be like, "Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, oh man. Oh, that really hurts." He you wants know that what I mean? that pity. Well, not the pity, but like it's like the thing that like he'll throw himself around. Yeah, take care of me. And like, why do guys do that? I don't know. Like, are you trying to show like ruggedness? I think so, bro. Like I would like if I got a black eye, I'd be kind of psyched. Really? Black eyes are sick. I'll give you one right now. No, I I had a black eye once. I got it on uh, Valentine's Day. Oh, that's strange. When I was in middle school, I was playing basketball and uh, fucking Chris Nappy, who was half my size at the time, bro, a somehow qu- got above me. A quarter your size at the time, and yeah. you were half Small. your size now. Yeah, do the fucking math. Yeah, he was a tiny tiny guy, but he jumped in the air and then came down on my eye with his elbow, and I had a uh, like a black eye and then they, I went to the nurse and they wanted they wanted me to get picked up because they wanted my parents to take me to the doctor as if I had a concussion or something um, which by the way <laughs> they didn't take me to the doctor uh, my dad walks in he goes what happened you forgot to give your girlfriend a fucking gift because it was Valentine's Day Valentine's Day yeah and your dad classic classic Joe thing to say of course of and course. also he was double parked He's- insinuating domestic violence was the punchline yes which they didn't take kindly to. They were like, "Yeah." Well, and I was like, "I don't have a girlfriend." It's all right. I once called my mom the old ball and chain to my dentist, and he was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> called your mom your old ball and chain. Yeah, but like I meant it in the most literal sense of like the idea of like the ball and chain holds you back. Which my mom also didn't fucking hold me back, but like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. But I, I guess at the time I didn't realize that that was a euphemism. You were trying to make like for a dad like joke. your partner. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So like, I was trying to make like a uh, she's holding you know holding me that ball and chain. Wait, what, how old were you? 
old enough. Like, old enough to know better. Put it like that. <laughs> you said that your mom was your old punch. Yeah. I, I had, I've never had a black guy. <laughs> this eye. dentist is going. <laughs> this guy fucks his mom. My, my dentist was like, ew. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> You know, I kind of like that. I hate that so I much. I like being sucked by the... Yeah. Okay. Well, I, uh, that's not what I wanted to say. One of the worst feelings in the world is that sandblaster on your teeth. Yeah, I hate that. I hate it you, so much. Bro, one time I got a... This was like four years ago or five years ago. I got a root canal and the dentist was like this little Asian dude. Dude, this guy had his hand up until his wrist in my mouth. Yeah, that sounds about right. And he was fucking jamming in my mm. face. And I'm like, oh my God. I, th- I feel like his legs were up on the seat. Yeah, I need to go to the dentist. I haven't been in a little bit. Dude, this guy fucking... Uh, I've never had a black eye. I have had a uh, black ball sack. Bro, I... First of all, <laughs> I thought you said black guy. I've never had a black guy either. I know that your yeah. family used to years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Uh, you know. Wait, hold on. You had a bruised sack? Yes, I had a bruised nut sack. From someone punching me in the nut sack. Like, you know how, like, people, like, remember when Keith at the park would just be in the corner sparring and he'd go, like, and he'd, like, super, like, tight punch. You know what I mean? Okay. Someone did that to my ball sack and it fucking hurt. Why did they punch you for fun? For giggles? Yeah, bro. People's always, it was actually a girl that did it. A girl punched a you girl in the sack. A girl punched me in the ball sack and gave me a bruise. Which nuts. girl? I'm not going to say her name. Why? What is a case going to come up? No, or but I'm not. I'm just not going to say the person's name. Damn it. I want to know. I'll tell you afterwards. First name. Nope. Bro, no one's going to find it. It's you. a pretty unique first name that will narrow it down very easily. Damn it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you after. Which school? Also not going to do that, Joey. Which middle school? Was it middle school? Uh, well, yeah, and I only went to one. That's not true. I went to you two went to two. School. I went to two. You are you are correct. I went to two high schools also. Yeah. Wait. You went to two middle schools. Yeah. Uh, Sixth grade, I went to one forty one. Seventh to tenth grade, I went to baccalaureate. Eleventh uh, and twelfth oh, grade, I yeah. went to Bryant. Jesus, pick a school, you yeah, fucking nerd. Fucking, I I had to leave that school, bro. It was yeah. fucking ridiculous. But uh, yeah, bro, I got my nutsack punched, and it like. It was like a normal nutsack pain. Like I didn't understand what made it a bruised sack at the time. Yeah, it felt normal. And then I remember like checking the next day, and my bro, my nutsack was like, you know, those bruises that are like, it's like black, and then around it, it's like yellow. Oh yeah, and like it gets and green. And green. Yeah, that's what it was on my nutsack. I had that's r- disgusting. Ugly nuts for like a minute. Damn. Yeah, I still have ugly nuts, but like. At the time. One time I caught my penis shaving bad. Oh, yeah. I, I did that on the reg, babe. Yeah. I, I really did. I yeah. was like... Really? Bro, blood. I used to full, like, shave my, you know, my manscape area with, like, a, a razor, razor and, yeah. like, shaving cream and, like, go against the grain. Shaving cream? Yeah. Did I shave cream? I don't know. It's not a thing anymore. No one makes... I mean, someone manscaped free plug is probably going to make a ball shaving cream at this at any day now. Nah, you could get some cream. I mean, you use shaving cream. Sorry. Yeah, but they'll just repurpose it as ball shaving cream. So you had like a fucking slick, fish-like Bro, pubic area. I had like baby balls until like 17. You shave your balls? I would shave everything. But how do you shave balls? It took a while. I'll say I never that. shaved my balls. I would say that. It did take a minute. But you get it done. I've clipped my balls, like buzzing. Oh, that sucks, dude. Bro, it just bleeds. Yeah, it bleeds a lot. It's like lot. a head wound. It is like a head wound. It's fucking insane. Uh, it was. There's a lot of bleeding and blood involved. Speaking of yeah, balls, there was actually a story that came out this week uh, where there was a couple being investigated uh, because they snuck into the upper deck of the Oakland Athletics baseball game and filleted each other. Not each other. One of them did fillet on the boy. The girl sucked the guy. Girl did suck on the guy. Wait, they snuck in. So, so where the Oakland Athletics play? Yeah. They, I, I'm pretty sure it's the old uh, uh, Raiders Stadium in Oakland, and so they have a whole top row, and their fucking team sucks. Yeah. They haven't drawn more than like five thousand fans in like thirty years. That's not true. Maybe like twenty. Giambi. Okay, twenty. Yeah. Uh, and they. Like, cause so it's all blocked off. So you like when you look at the stadium, you look at the top, and there's just dozens of seats, the hundreds if not thousands of seats that are never filled, 
And sometimes they cover them with like banners. And someone went all the way to the back, 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 top, 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 and got top, neck, top, neck, top. neck, 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 top, 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 top. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Yeah. So now it was during a game too. Fire. So now they're being investigated. They're trying to find out who who it was. Dude, what's going on with the world? You can't even get sucked at a baseball game anymore? Listen, uh, baseball is the sport where people are the most afraid of change. It's America's pastime. If you can't get nib knobbed in person and in, in public, well, you know, what well, is freedom? In a section where no one can really see you, bro, you're really high up in the air. Like, Yeah, and like, I know it's sun's illegal. Sun's out. I know it's illegal. I know it's an is issue. Is it? I think performance of a sexual act is like lewd conduct or some shit like that. But like, how do you know? What if she was like legitimately like, you know, choking? Yeah. And she needed help. Well, she might have been choking. Something needed to be dislodged. She <laughs> she might have been choking. Well, uh, yeah, it really depends on. Have you ever done anything, you know, at a baseball pa- game? Hanky at a sports game? Mm, definitely not. Definitely not. No. It's kind of a gross environment. Also, yeah. I'm not the most appealing. I know. Yeah. Yeah. At at a at a sports game, especially teams that I like. Yeah. Like if you were to go to like a Giants Eagles game. One time I told a woman to shut the fuck up. It was great. Wow. That well, that's not the first time. Dude, definitely nailed it. Definitely not nailed a good thing the to shut. Do. I told told this woman I was like, shut the fuck up. Ooh. It was great. That's a, but I never saw her. I just heard her. Gotcha. But it was like... It, it out was, of sight, out of mind. It was cool because... You can't attach the mean act to the person's face, so you don't feel bad as, about as it. As far as I know, as a woman, I'm judging by the voice. That was it. You are presuming their gender, which actually probably get you thrown in jail right now. Yeah, but this was some time ago. But we were in the upper deck at MetLife, and it was a Giants game, and this woman was screaming like bloody murder. Mm-hmm. And then eventually I was just like, shut the fuck up. I've done that like once. And everyone clapped. And I was like, yes. I've done that once at a movie theater and it didn't get a good reaction. You told someone to shut the fuck up? I like, someone was just not talking or like they had their phone out. I can't remember exactly what it was. And something along the lines of like, the fucking movie's on. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it didn't create like a, yeah, like a unified front. You know, like no one was pumped that I did that. They were that. just like, damn. They're like, who the fuck said that? And I was just like, no one. <laughs> just kept fucking eating my uh, popcorn and I just like kept it quiet. Bro, I, actually, the last time I went to whatever Marvel movie was like, maybe it was Spider Man, like recently, uh, and I went to it was Spider Man, and I went to uh, a show, and there was these kids in the front row that I was worried about because they were younger. They were like, maybe like worried 17. about like you, they were worried gonna, about them like just not just, shutting the fuck up. Oh, I thought you were saying like their health. Like no, no, no. <laughs> I was worried about them just like ruining it. You know? Gotcha, what I mean? gotcha. But they actually you don't were, care about them. You care about how they can affect your enjoyment. Hundred percent. They're strangers. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> but they, but they were like gatekeeping the entire movie. It was hilarious. Like anyone who said, "Shut up!" Oh, like, really? Like, yeah. Really? Like, Fuck these kids. Yeah. Damn, that's kind of aggressive. But there's, th- there's that famous clip where <laughs> I think it was when Force Awakens came out and people were in the theater and like someone was talking as like uh like the like opening crawl started and you know how it always starts with like a long time ago in a galaxy far yeah. far away it like it had that and pop up and someone was like oh and then it cuts down and someone goes can you shut the fuck up <laughs> and then as they like literally as they finish saying it you just hear the <laughs> and the place went fucking nuts dude it was like perfect timing and everything oh man uh but yeah man this is listen obviously we don't promote lewd conduct in person but uh, like unless. how dope <laughs> how dope would a baseball stadium be if they were like yo you can watch the game and, and rent up and rent like a private little like room to watch the game like a suite you know how you can rent a suite but in the suite you could do it right because that'd be fire dude i mean yeah i'd also be concerned actually now that i think about it well you'd be like oh all those suites are orgy yeah well suites. you're at a male like uh, also the people that are in suites usually are like co-workers well i'm, I'm, I'm like saying you're there like, with, like your boss if you could get like if it was like a conjugal room but you're not in prison you know right i guess an oakland athletics game is like prison yeah so. probably very similar um, but like you can rent like all right hear me out hear me out hear me out yeah baseball gms i know you listen brian cashman theo epstein the other ones <laughs> the only two I, know I can't know i can't name any make give the stadium like 
a row of suites and they're in like a like a room that has like a blacked out window tinted window that's what i'm looking for there and you're like allowed to like do whatever you want in there i feel like you could do whatever you want in a suite anyway just go into the bathroom well what i'm happen? saying is like you like it's meant to be like yo the only thing i would say though is a little weird if you're a straight man like i am and you're watching you know say the yankees which is by the way all men yeah and then it's like you're getting your rocks off well i mean you put a naked woman in front of you i think that kind of trumps the baseball game well i think the ratio is what Seventh would be concerning stretch yeah take me out to the ball game take my balls deep in your big old gamey punch <laughs> <laughs> In your big old gamey punch. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I would think, though, that, like, the ratio, like, if it was, you know, three guys, one girl, that can even out a little bit. Hello. There's, like, 40 fucking men on a field. Right. And then the, your one partner might not line up, you know? Yeah. But there, have, you, I wonder if there have been stories of, like, professional athletes. Um, there are. Well, Yes. But Are you like, going to say that like during the game? Yes. Really? One hundred percent. Someone recently told me, told me, yeah. said that <laughs> Guess they what I did that they used to have sex like in in the like they would. All right, get back to the dugout, like play the outfield wherever it was. I don't know who it was. It maybe been like Daryl Strawberry or something I like say, that. Who would you know? Go to the no, I didn't know. Him, but they were saying it was like a thing that came out. Like yeah, I used to go into the clubhouse and fuck somebody and then come out. Dude, that is intense. Crazy, dude. right? That is absolutely intense. Wild. But kind of sick. Kind of fucking awesome, bro. Do you remember, like, during, uh, like, high school sports and stuff, your coaches would say, like, no hanky-panky, it could affect your game. No sex before no the game. No sex the day, a week before the game, it could affect your game. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was like, I think we'll be okay, guys. <laughs> We're fucking well, 16. Yeah, you. But me, I was just like, come on, coach. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would, I would say some stupid shit like that. But then I knew people yeah. that would take it like super aggressive, where they'd be like, "That's still like a thing." I think, right? Don't I, you like T levels like drop or something? I don't know. I, but why do T levels affect your ability to play sports? No, but just I mean, I, the more testosterone when you're playing sports, the better. I assume that's why people take like fucking TRT and shit. Well, I think they take that because it promotes like muscle growth. Yeah, but like if you're if playing, you have low testosterone levels. That would be to your detriment as far as sports goes. I wonder. I think that's true. I You might think it. I don't know. You know who would know? Josh. This kid is fucking teed out. Uh, he does not take TRT. I know he doesn't take TRT, but I know that he has, testosterone? has high testosterone. <laughs> um, anyway. I spend think a day on Xbox with him, and you'll fi figure out that he has high testosterone. Oh, yeah. Probably going to spend one today. Figure it out. But... Before we move on here, let's get to BetterHelp. BetterHelp is uh, online counseling, folks. Uh, you want to talk to a therapist? You can do that with BetterHelp. Uh, you can talk to them via video chat or text them or phone call. You can schedule it whenever you want, the frequency that you want, uh, all with BetterHelp. Uh, millions of people are now going on to BetterHelp and taking control of their mental health where they have a bunch of licensed, licensed professionals. That will help you through any sort of trauma or anything on your mind or if you just want to do some therapy because you think that it's healthy. Um, which I recommend. I think that it is, and I've been in therapy for a few years now, and it's great. Uh, and it is way more affordable than in-person therapy, and on top of that, you will get 10% off of your first month uh, if you go to betterhelp.com slash basement. That is betterhelp.com slash basement for 10% off of your first month uh, of therapy. So, yeah, if you want to try it out, go try it out, betterhelp.com slash basement. Get that 10% uh, off of your first month. Uh, and next here we have Simply Safe. Uh, Simply Safe is a home security system, 24/7 professional monitoring. Uh, their agents will call you the moment there is a threat detected and dispatch the police or first responders in an emergency. Um, so it protects your home and also makes sure that someone's watching over you. Smoke alarms go off, or if one of the windows open up when they're not supposed to, people will be alerted and sent to your house. Uh, you know, it's it's saved numerous people. And it's uh, very affordable. It's like a dollar a day, something like that. Um, and yeah, so it could prevent break-ins or you know, help you as far as like fires go. Uh, you know, make sure that the fire department is there as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, go get it. Customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafe.com/basement. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off 
with interactive monitoring, go to simplysafe.com slash basement, uh, spelled S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E dot com slash basement. And while you're at it, we're going to tell you about the Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard, where you can get more of us or us quicker. Well, not a lot of people, not a lot of people might want that. I know it's been a problem uh, for some people that they're always too quick. However, you want the basement yard quick, baby. You want us to only last a couple minutes for you. Uh, but go to patreon.com uh, slash the basement yard. You sign up for that first tier. You get these weekly episodes a week in advance. So you get in on the comments, six days, jokes, six days, everything a week before everybody else. And then on top of that, if you sign up for that next tier, well, guess what? exclusive episodes every single Friday morning that are a little naughtier, raunchier, grosser. Uh, this last week, we put on shock collars, and I quizzed Joey, and uh, well, I won't tell you exactly what happened, but one of us got fucking gangbanged, like, by the shock collar. Jesus. <laughs> bad idea, bad. That was a clickbait in real life. Well, we... <laughs> one of us got gangbanged? We didn't get gangbanged in the literal sense. We got gangbanged in, in the shock collar sense. Uh, so... Uh, thank you. Join today, and uh, you know we really, really, really want to get to twelve thousand patrons. We have uh, this is our first official announcement. When we get to twelve thousand patrons, uh, we will be hiring a makeup artist that specializes in drag makeup. And Joe and I will uh, be in full drag for a Patreon episode, and we will also uh, be doing, uh, you know, kind of documenting the process. So uh, get us to twelve thousand, and we'll be doing that. That'll be Honestly, kind of pumped for that. I feel like we would look amazing. What? In drag? Yeah. Uh, so uh, make sure you go tell your friends, tell your loved ones. They're, giving the Patreon is a great gift for people if you don't know what to get. Someone that's a fan of the show. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you. Wow. Beautiful, Frank. I'm very good. I'm getting good. That's my only segment that I need to like do, and I do it good, I think. Yeah. Um, also... <laughs> also, uh, dude, a billion people tagged us. In the uh, in the video of the guy at the baseball game, and he, wow, oh, your f- sister's tits! Oh no, not your tattoo! Now you need another. No, <laughs> no, I got pinched. Oh, pinching. Um, uh, there was a guy at a baseball game, and he like shoved a straw through the center mm. of a hot dog, and then used it as a straw, and like sucked the dog. Suck the liquid through the dog. This is taking dog sucking season to a new level. Yeah. And I have to admit. We're blurring the lines as well with gayness, I think. Well, whatever, dude. I (laughs) I don't think anyone cares about looking gay anymore. Well, I think there's like... (laughs) Wait, what is that? (laughs) I'm saying we're blurring the lines because this man is becoming like probably good at... Your words, filleting a man. Well, I mean, the best foods in life are phallic in shape. I don't believe that. I think some good ones are, though. Hot dog. Those are good. Popsicle. Also good. Pickles. Okay. Cucumbers. That's a pickle. <laughs> uh, a baby corn. Baby corn? <laughs> also, pickles, baby corn, hot dog, like... None of these are like the greatest foods. Sub, a, a sandwich, a sub, hero. That's not a dick shape. That is definitely dick shape. Who's dude. got a dick like a sub? Pete. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we bring him up, he texts us like, <laughs> brought he me gets up an again. influx of followers and he goes, guess you talked about my dick on the episode today, huh? Yeah, we absolutely did, Pete. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, I don't think anyone cares how they look eating a hot dog. I think the point. No, people care. I, I don't care. I'm. Fucking, I don't care, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking definitely. slutting it up. But th- uh, do you think we should get hot dog? We should do that. Hot dog straws. Okay. But I mean, obviously we can't do it now. Tell him to bring th- him right now. He's on his th- way. Do you think that? What's um, that? What? What was that? I was. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was trying to do something else. I, whatever you're oh, doing, I was saying because it's of the showing sh- its colors. The straw. That's not the straw. Joe. I was feeding a straw into you were, a hot you dog. Weren't, you weren't doing this. What was I doing? You were doing this. I was not going like this. You were going like this. I was Joey. not doing this. It's all right. You were pantomiming, jerking something. Uh, no, run the tape. I was. I was. Doing, <laughs> I was feeding a straw through a hot dog. No, no. There was no flick. I was doing this. No, you weren't, dude. Yes, I. No, was. you were not. You fucking liar. Why would I be doing this? I'm not. Oh, oh I didn't say you were doing that. What was I doing? You were doing this. I was doing this? Yeah. You just said that you were doing this. Yeah, I was. No, you weren't. You were you were 
you were cranking. Right, whatever I was doing, you were dude. Cranking, I wasn't you were thinking about it. I wasn't thinking about nothing. It's okay. I was thinking about putting a straw through a thing, and then I was gonna ask you, do you think it changes the taste of the beverage? One thousand percent. When it gets sucked through ground oil meat, you think it's good? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I would like it. I would kind of maybe. Love it. Maybe he was drinking a beer too. Uh, even better. Hot dog beer. You're it, gonna tell me. Good. You're gonna tell me you wouldn't be interested in trying that. If it was water, I'd be disgusted. No, water you can't do. Because water has, like, you'll just taste the hot dog. Ah. Uh, in the beer, you'll get a little bit. Of, it'll be like a beer-flavored hot, uh, you know hot dog-flavored beer. Hot dogs, right? Yes, They're sir. They're great. Yeah, I love them. But if you blended it up, could you drink a hot dog? No, you got Why is that so Why You know what I'm saying? Why is that? It's got teary eye, dude. But why is that? Like a, a a blended up hot dog. First of all, the shit's already blended up. It is blended, confirmed to be blended. And then it's just like in a cock shape. It's not just in a cock shape. It's also in a casing, Joe. Well, that's what I mean. That holds the cock shape. I'm I'm, I'm aware of that. It but keeps saying, the walls in. If you blend this shit back up and it's liquid, now it's disgusting. Yeah, because it's like when you think of a hot dog, there's a certain consistency and texture. Ugh. You're thinking of the snap. I love the snap. You dig into snap. You bite into a hot dog and it's like right in your teeth. Like what I like is you get a little char in that dog. I know. So you get a little like there's a little like baby crunches in there. Yeah. But I listen. This has been a pretty like viral video. Video. I have to say, I fucking love it. Yeah. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it either. But when we started the movement, Joe, when we came up with hashtag dog sucking season, I mean we did. We encouraged people to really branch out, to understand and explore, well, to ex- explore the variety of ways that you can enjoy dog sucking season. We've got some good looking dogs sent to our, our way. We've also had some yeah. dogs, like the one, the, the b- peanut butter jelly banana one. What? You didn't see that? Oh, it was a peanut butter and jelly, but a banana in the middle? Yeah, in bread. And it, fucking amazing. Probably very good. So I am tipping your cap, my cap to this individual that did this because it's innovative. It is innovative. Hot dog but straws are going to be here by next summer. And guess what? No, they're not. Secret handshake foods. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. I can tell you that. Um, innovative is not always good. For instance, our next story. Uh, this is the title. Youth in India have found a new way to get high. Okay. Which sounds cool. Getting high, pretty fucking sick, dude. You we remember Weed Joe? Right. Weed Joe was a big part of who you were for like four minutes. <laughs> pretty sick to get high. New stuff, everyone likes. People do enjoy new stuff. However. Are they getting high on like bath salts like those crazy people down in Florida were? Nope. They're getting high on flavored condoms. Yeah, so the youth in India, how Frankie, the youth in India, um, which technically is the youth in Asia, (laughs) euthanasia, but the youth in India, very good, Joe. Uh, they are soaking reported. Oh, oh, young people in India are reportedly using soaked flavored condoms to feel intoxicated. The high can last 10 to 12 hours. And can have adverse effects on a, a consumer's mental and physical health. Obviously, we know that, folks. That's if anything, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for some adverse effects. But this is the thing, though, that I don't. The understand. condom cocktail. Whoa, hold on. What? It says it can also be addicting, but they called it a condom cocktail. <gasps> Here's the thing: we actually, on a Patreon episode, taste tested uh, flavored condoms. We taste tested <laughs> flavored lube. Remember that? Yeah. Go check it out: Patreon.com/slash/basementyard. When I put that condom in my mouth, I didn't feel good. No. So what are they doing that they're able to get high off of them? It says when flavored condoms are soaked in hot water, polyurethane from the condoms is released, resulting in a cocktail that can give off a high. So it's just polyurethane. What's polyurethane again? It's a thing. So they're (laughs) inhaling the fucking vapors? No, they're drinking it. Bro, they're drinking condom juice, dude? Polyurethane is a plastic substance used in everyday materials such as building insulation, car parts, adhesive. Um, Bro, they're drinking condom juice? They're making condom tea? Listen, I love tea. We draw the line at condom tea. It's flavored condom tea. Uh, but they noted that uh, the condoms are typically left to soak in the water for six to eight hours before an individual would drink the water. 
So you put a flavored condom in hot water, mm -hmm. and you just let it sit there for eight hours. And then you drink that, and you get high. It's only a matter of time before it's, people start doing it over here. Bro, who came up with this? This is how we... You know what? This, this goes into the war on fertility, okay? First, they wanted to take women's rights away so that we can produce more children. And now, there, it's going to come over here, and people are going to be doing this. They're going to ban condoms so people can fuck raw more. This is all part of the conspiracy. Where's Dylan? Which Dylan! One? I don't know if even those things line up. They do to idiots that believe in conspiracies, Joey. I know. But... I believe in some conspiracies. Oh, like what? Here we go. God almighty. I don't know. I, I, I don't not believe in all of them. I think there's probably some that are like true. Like? I mean, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm just leaving the door open for the possibility that... Not everyone is... Oh, my God. This know. is Joey doing his favorite game where he just plays devil's advocate where he's just like, I'm just saying, not all of them could be wrong. All right, but do I think... Boop, boop, I don't do boop, boop. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, these people uh, are harming their nervous system, their lungs and kidneys. Yeah. Don't eat condoms. Just put them on your wiener and go to town. No, they're not... Eat condoms. You can if you want. Don't drink the fucking condom tea that you they're making. You can't eat condoms. I'm sure there's been someone that's accidentally swallowed a condom. Yeah. Well, they do it for drugs. Yeah, yeah. They do that for drugs. Well, yeah, they do swallow them, don't they? They shove them up their ass or they throw them in their mouth. I've always wanted to, like, try to, like, do that whole, like, shove a condom down your throat, but I'd, I'd die. I wouldn't be able to. What's up? We're <laughs> you wanted to shove a condom down no, your throat? No, but, like, you ever see, like, you know, like... I think they did it in, like, Jackass or something where he'll take, like, drugs and, like, put it down his throat, but those be, like... And they'll shove it down their throat. I've always wanted to do that with like something not deadly. Why would you want it for what? I don't know. Just to try it. And then shit it out? I mean, maybe. But, well, hopefully, I guess, is the term I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> but. You've always wanted to swallow a condom filled I'm with just drugs. like, not drugs. No, 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 no. I've wanted With to, some sort of substance. Yeah. Like water. Because if it popped, I, I'm okay. Yeah. You know, but like, I don't know. It just always looked cool. You thought it looked cool to shove a condom down your throat? Listen, man. That's I was fucking sick, Joe, Frank. I was watching Viva La Bam on repeat, okay? I was I was putting Cura Cologne on from the, you know, PacSun store. It was a rough time in my wow, life. Wow, PacSun. Yeah. What yeah. was the other one where you bought, like, a bunch of t-shirts from? Not you, just, like, in general, the people would. Oh, um... What was it called? Hot Topic. Hot Topic. They're still, yeah, still yeah. open. I, every now and then I poke my head in and see, like, what they got. Probably skate shoes. They have a lot of like licensed stuff now, like a lot of wrestling. Marvel shit. Yeah, Marvel, DC, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, my wrestling, Chemical Romance. A, a lot of My Chemical Romance. A lot of like Japanese animes and stuff like that. You'll walk in and then you'll just be hit by a sign that says like, you know, uh, fucking a Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And it's like, all right, <laughs> okay. I haven't been inside of one of those in, one, in a long time. Well, when we were younger, Hot Topic was like the place where the goths went. We're like, you wouldn't go in there because you don't want to hear the music about people wanting to fucking slit their wrists. Yeah. But like now you walk in and it's like normal ass people and it's like, yo, what's up? Growing in, like growing up, you'd walk Did in. you ever have a pair of skate shoes growing up? I did. I Me did. too. I had air were, walkers. What was that? They were like skate shoes. Are they like DC? I don't think I had DC. I know you I did. I had DC. I know you did. I remember And those. they had a fat tongue on they them. They had a big tongue. <laughs> Yours was, were called air walkers? Yeah. I also think Nike 6.0s were uh, skate shoes. I had purple Nike 6.0s. You had air walk. These are not. Wait. Yeah, I had air walker shoes growing up. Oh, no. I had DCs. I used to go into Journeys and be like, give me the fattest tongue <laughs> on, a, on a fucking shoe. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get the fattest tongue yeah. with the most padding around the ankles. I remember I skateboarded for a little bit, and then I got smacked by a like a like an adult, and I stopped. What? Yeah. When did you get smacked by an adult? We were at the park, and me and Keith were skateboarding, and and um, you remember the kid uh, Adam? Of course, I remember Adam. Yeah, and he was like six five. I I remember Adam. And he was like twenty five. He was like twenty something. I remember. You don't need to explain it to me. I'm talking to people here. We're doing gotcha. a show. Oh, you want me to contribute then? <laughs> Bro, this guy was the biggest LeBron fan in the world. Was he really? Yeah, he had... I remember he drove and, like, picked me up in his fucking Jeep Cherokee one day. And he had 
a LeBron headband, a LeBron jersey, a LeBron undershirt under the jersey, LeBron shorts, LeBron wristbands on his fucking forearms and shit. Like, yo, he was LeBron. Still out. not great at basketball. Yeah. Just tall. Also, his brothers sucked. They were, they were wild gentlemen. But him, we were all skateboarding together, and then he got upset at something, and he like smacked Keith's skateboard out of his hand. So I grabbed his skateboard out of his hands and I threw it into the street. Mm. And then he turned around and just fucking slapped me. Yeah, he beat the shit out of you, didn't he? Well, no, he just slapped me, and I was I like, I mean, that hurts more. It did hurt more because I because I was like I mean I'm definitely not gonna fight this guy. Yeah, you couldn't fight him. So he fucking rocked my shit, and I was like, I just got slapped. Yeah, I got slapped by an adult once too. I was on the. I train. told my dad and brother. I oh, don't worry. I mind. I told my dad. They went and reprimanded him. My dad apparently, uh, and I won't say who, but found the guy and beat him up. Your dad beat up a man for you? Yeah. Damn, that's fire. It was pretty cool, but also like. Kind of hurt my because I was like with my friends on the train on my way home, and this guy and the reason I remember we were on the train and it was the story of uh, Boulevard stop on the way home. I was like with like three friends, so I was like you know the coolest kid I could try to be, <laughs> and he had a big bag on his back and Who? I was joking a guy a guy oh and I was joking that like there was a body in it, so I was doing like you know like <laughs> you know like you know joking about kidnapping, and <laughs> okay. He, he had a, a hat like this, like a dad dad hat, I think they're called. But it was green, and, and it was a Boston hat, a Red Sox hat. And uh, I, like, poked it, and I guess he felt the poke on the bag. Which, bro, this thing was fucking huge. You poked his bag. Yeah. Like, bro, if this thing was on his back, it was, like, this wide. And I poked it like, like that. So he had super sense. You know, like, he felt that. Yeah. Bro, he turned around, and he smacked the dog shit out of me. And I was just, a random man slapped you on the train. Yeah, and I was like, "Why do I? I never heard this." I, I might. I, I tell stories all the time, so it's possible that you just forgot because I talk too much. But bro, this guy smacked the shit out of me, and I tried to like play it cool, like the doors closed. I was like, "What the fuck?" You know, <laughs> and then I called like, I called. You know, they were all like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "Yeah." I mean, he's fucking lucky. I'm sure. Like, I tried yeah, to play yeah. it off, be fucking cool. And I called my dad. And my dad was like, where did this happen? And I told him. And he's like, who do they look like? What do they look like? I told him. And then my dad was like, all right. And then he, I spoke to him like a, the next morning. And he was like, me and so-and-so took care of it. I'm like, what happened? He's like, he says sorry. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, your dad went home and just like sat on the couch, dude. Yeah, I think he <laughs> might He might have. He might have. But like, I also, like, there's a part of me that thinks he did that for me because, you know. I hope my dad would stick up for me. Yeah. Uh, but there's a, the more realistic part of me is probably just like... How old, how, how old are you? Bro, I was like 13, 14. And how old do you think this guy was? <sighs> Mid to late 20s. That old? Yeah. Yeah, like he wasn't young. So it would be like you slapping a fucking 13-year-old? Yeah. Like fucking... Fire. And I gotta be honest, I've seen some 13-year-olds that need a fucking smack. Do you? Yeah. Hey, man. I mean, as long as you... I mean, their dad might come looking for you. Yeah, it's tougher now. They'll record me. But, like... True. You know, back then, no recording. Bro, if I was 30 <laughs> years old in 2005, I'm smacking so many teenagers. <laughs> so many, bro. Yeah, no. I got hit by a car once. But we're going we're gonna to get Wait, to that. Wait, what? What? I'm going to tell you. It was, it was actually a funny story. <laughs> it's actually a really funny story. I, I don't know if I've ever said it on a podcast before, but I did get hit by a car, kind of. Um, all right. We have more sponsors on the show. Uh, this one being Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a cool uh, game that you could play. You pick two to five players, and if they uh, they score more or less than the Prize Picks projection, you can win up to ten x your money on any entry. So this is for sports, um, and you can do it on basketball, you know, college basketball, men's, women's, uh, NBA, NFL, NHL, like pretty much anything. Um, entries, entries can be made in 60 seconds or less It's that easy Safe and fast withdrawals But again You pick two to five players And they give you a projection On you know How well they'll do in the game And if they score more or less than that um, You can win up to 10x your money On any entry So it is a fun game I'm definitely going to be playing This up, uh, upcoming NFL season um, It's currently operational In over 30 states and Canada um, So all you have to do to play Is download the PrizePix app Or go to prizepix.com uh, to sign up 
And uh, first-time users can receive a 100% instant deposit uh, match up to $100. So if you put $100 in, they will also put $100 in. So you have $200 to play with um, with the promo code BASEMENT. So if you deposit $100, prize picks will give you $100, um, you know, and so on. So don't forget to enter the promo code BASEMENT at sign up for an instant deposit that matches up to $100. Um, but yeah, football, football season's coming up. We also have, you know, hockey's coming up, um, you know college football there's gonna be a lot to do it on so check it out uh and lastly here we have shopify shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big businesses um you know upstarts uh startups whatever it is and uh you know you can use shopify to sell whatever you want if you have an e-commerce store or you know whatever it is um everyone i know that it has an e-commerce store is using shopify it is amazing um and you know with this you can uh get a free trial 14 day free trial and get full access to shopify's entire suite of features where which are extremely helpful they have an entire suite of features that will help you target and retarget um your audience or your customers and let you know where the traffic is coming from and give you suggestions on how to optimize your traffic and whatnot um so yeah if you're going to get into the game, uh, definitely use Shopify, and you can go to shopify.com slash basement, all lowercase, for the free 14-day trial and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Uh, grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash basement right now. That is shopify.com slash basement, folks. There you go. So you got hit by a car. Yeah. How did, like, was it like one of those where, like, you were leaning up against it and they are like, fuck you, and drove off, and you kind of, like... Did one of those? Yeah, I so I wasn't leaning on a car. I was uh, going. I had rollerblades on, and I got hit by a mirror. Like I didn't get hit like fucking sent. Bro, you didn't get hit by a car. You got hit by you got sideswiped. Fucking relax. All right, I got hit by a Stop car. Stop making yourself sound like this. Fucking like people. I didn't people get hit before, by before. No- people before you did those ads were like, oh my god, like is he okay? Like, did he, like, is he, like, is this recent? Like, is he all right? Oh. No. You're fucking, you clickbaited people, you piece of shit. A little bit, but listen, I did get hit, and it was by a car. You got hit by something that was attached to a car. That's like me saying that, like, someone with their hand out a window hit me, and I got hit by a car. Wrong. Yeah, that's what you're saying. No. That's exactly what you're saying, and it's stupid. I was on my rollerblades, and a car drove past me, and the, the fucking mirror, like, hit me in, like, the arm in the back. And I went down, and the guy slammed on his brakes, and he got out. And he's like, please, please, please. No. Like, really? Yeah, he was like, I'm sorry, whatever. And I was like, totally fine. That's when you go down, dude. Well, I was like, totally fine, and I was just like, but for some reason, I was like, I don't know. This would feel nice to get some pity here. Yeah. So I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, just yeah, Just like yeah. you were describing yeah. before. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, I'll be oh. all right. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> so, oh, fuck, <bah>, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he hopped out of his car and he was like, please, please, no. And he gave me 50. He's like, I'll give you whatever I have. And he had 50 bucks and he gave it to me. And I was like, all right. Damn, you got 50 bucks for being hit by a mirror? Yeah, it was fine. I fucking wish. And I was that totally rad? fine. I just went and got like Subway or like pizza or something. <laughs> that 50 bucks did make it through the night. You probably went super hard on those mints with Keith. <laughs> Bro, Keith used to buy those beer. They're fucking incredible mints. They are good. The but you can't eat a lot of them. You get a doodle. <laughs> You got diarrhea, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. That's right. That's the stupid fucking name your mom gives it. Watch it. I didn't say your mom is stupid. You have said that numerous times. <laughs> not today. Yeah. <laughs> your mom's not stupid. No. I don't think my mom is dumb either. Contrary to what you tell me all the time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. The only person that I think is dumb sometimes, most of the time, is my dad. Right. But I don't think he's dumb like a dumb person. I think he just does and says dumb things. Which would mean he's my father. Well. Okay. Where <laughs> all that's alleged too. Have you ever seen a DNA test or um took a DNA test? Turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch. You, uh, that's you're getting like a four minute timeout for that. Like uh, like what am I supposed to do with that? Come on, you lined it up. I'm a Lizzo boy. No, I'm, you're a Lizzo boy. I like Lizzo. Do you like Lizzo? Yeah, she's pretty cool. She don't give a fuck, I'll tell you that. What do you mean? She don't give a shit. You know? She got her butt out. She's fucking like, she's like, oh yeah, watch this. Here's my asshole. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, like you think I look gross? I don't care. I fucking love me. And it's yeah. like, bro, fucking good on you, man. 
That's great. And she makes sh- shady makes bangers, dude. Shady. That song. Um, what's the, what's the name of that song? Uh, uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Damn it! Turns out 100 percent that bitch. Clang clang. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, is that not it? Clang clang. Is that a hundred percent that bitch? Even when I'm playing clang clang. Clang clang. <laughs> no. Where are you getting no, that? No, is it not it? Frankie, it's not clang clang. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, give me a hint. I'm gonna I'm gonna just start reading the lyrics for you. Okay. It's took a, t- a DNA test. Turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch when I'm running clang clang. Where are you getting <laughs> clang clang? What it's, it's read it to me. I just a, took a DNA test. Turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch, even when I'm crying crazy. Is that where you thought <laughs> clang clang was? <laughs> and then you thought the name of the song was clang clang. You're actually close, because the the name of the song is Truth Hurts. How are they that close? They're not Frank. That's the <laughs> joke. <laughs> clang clang. I cannot believe that you thought the fucking. Name I of thought because I thought in the chorus it was like "Why man, Greg, till they got my clang clang." What does that mean? <laughs> oh no! It's, it's why are men great till they gotta be great? Okay. No clang. So what's the name of the song? Truth hurts. Yes. Okay. All right. I was a little off. Forgive me, Joe. I'm not in. I'm not on TikTok. Frankie, you just have to be a person, <laughs> a, like a citizen of the world. That song was big that year. It was summer Not big enough. You no, thought it was okay. called Clang Clang. I, I didn't know. I knew the song, but like I heard Why it. are men great till they got a clang clang? I don't, I don't, what, like, I didn't know if that meant like they got to like pay up. You know what I mean? Like they got to like live up to the dreams, the standard. Like why is, why are they great until it's time to like, you know, put their money where their mouth is? Clang clang. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to tell me there are songs <laughs> that you know, and you know, you're singing the wrong lyrics or you don't even care to learn the right lyrics. Many songs. Exactly, Joe. So, like, I was good with Clang Clang. I, I respect Lizzo as an artist. And, like, to her, she made the song Clang Clang, which is a hit. Yeah. I mean, you're just making up stuff now. No, I'm not. I'm saying, like, at that time. She Clang Clanged. She, like, that's, like, it doesn't matter what the name of the song was. Because, like, it didn't. Or what shit she clangs? Was, she, had, she was Clang Clanging. That shit clangs. But we'll use that. What? If something is, like, doing well. It does. Clangs. Maybe put it on a shirt. Does it clang? Clang? Does it pass the clang test? Does it? <laughs> we'll add that to the clang dynasty. Yeah. Um, Doesn't clang as much as the uh, virtual rapper oh, that yeah. you were talking about earlier. Yeah, Apparently, we were talking about that. So my understanding is uh, white people got together and do what they do. Just try to disrupt the, you know, the peace. Was it? Was it? <laughs> we were having a good couple was weeks. Was it whites? You don't know that. I don't be a racer. Racist. Yeah, I don't know if it is white, but it feels white. It feels white. So actually, a, honestly, it feels more Japanese than anything. Okay, that's wild that you just said that on this episode. Someone's gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> I feel like when it comes to like uh, like uh, technology, any sort of new technology, I just assume comes from Japan. Yes, yeah, yeah, you are correct. Um, but this feels this feels like that. okay. Regardless, not people of color and they created whoever created this rapper it was like using word like it was it's rhyming and rapping off of like algorithmic like output whatever the fuck that means like they put like what do you want the song to be into an algorithm and it fucking tells you you don't remember you don't remember when people were doing that no well regardless they did it and instantly started using the n-word dude it was a white rapper I don't think it was a person of color. Well, first of all, it was a fake rapper made by people. Regardless of their color, if it's not made of people of color, like made by people of color, don't use the terminology. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And like instant, like like the first song was just like dropping N-bombs hard. So <laughs> just like just dropping them, just like being like, yeah, I'm not real. I don't care. Bro, how bored are we? Because someone sent me an article of – two virtual influencers who are just like cartoon characters basically that have Instagram accounts and there's multiple of them out there. One of them was like a pig boy. I remember I, we had talked about it. Do you remember that? Will you get in trouble if you bully a virtual influencer? 
bro, you don't have to. They fucking had drama between them. The article was about like, you have to read this drama between these two virtual influencers. No, no, no. But and they had, were out. fighting over a guy. Hear me out. A real person. No. They were, they were all over, fake. All parties involved were fake. Were fake. And they were having a beef. So it was an orchestrated beef between virtual oh. influencers. What are we doing, people? We've gone insane. What are we doing? And I'm going to get a nosebleed and put a gun in my mouth. Put the gun in your mouth and then just save me a fucking bullet. Or I'll put my mouth behind your neck and shoot once. <laughs> Why Why are we fucking with this? Like, why do we need to do this? Why, I don't know. How Seriously, how bored are we? Dude, I'm even before that, like I said, there was a pig boy that you can follow that was like a virtual influencer. Right. He had mad followers, and he was a fucking pig boy. Just talking like a fucking boy. Listen but he was up. a pig. Listen up. I don't... I, I legitimately live my life with love. I lead with love. I try to love every person I meet and see. I... If you show me a virtual, like, one of these, like, virtual influencers, I'm going to bully them so hard because it's not wrong to bully something that doesn't exist yet. I, I'm i sure eventually it will be. But, like, bro, how, why why are we doing this? Like, why can't we just figure something else out at this point in time? Like, why can't we be putting the resources into, like, fucking understanding renewable energy and not, you know, dolls that can talk and think for themselves and fuck each other on the side. I mean, I think that people just need to go outside and shoot a basketball, I honestly. <coughs> I sneezed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you forgot something, though. <laughs> That's where I sit, bitch. You just, uh, we're sharing air in here. Yeah, so what? So, just an attempt. So what? Ooh, so what? You remember that song? I do, but... Is there a clang in this or? There's no clang. Okay. It's, I believe it's a field mob in Sierra. I remember that. What's it called? So what? Very good. There was a there was a verse that I used to say when I was in middle school because I felt cool because I was talking to like three girls at one time. Do it. And it, the song, he says, I'm a slut, I'm a hoe, I'm a freak. I got a different girl every day of the week. And you believe that, didn't you? <laughs> You changed their names in your phone, didn't you? One of their names was Monday. One of their names was Wednesday. The other one was Friday. It wasn't? Isn't that true? This is all me speculating, by the way. I have no idea, but I'm assuming this is what happened, isn't it? <laughs> Judging by the silence. I uh, will not confirm nor deny. Nailed it. Okay. I absolutely nailed it. <laughs> I will not confirm nor deny. You're also, a slut. You're a hoe. You're a freak. You have a girl for every day of the week. I have a different girl every day of the week. Got it. If anyone was changing anyone's names in my phone, it was you, you son of a bitch. I was doing that, yes. Joey would take my phone once every three months, change every person's name, <laughs> and then not tell me who was who. Yeah. For instance. Well, one the of only reason why I did that is because you changed my yeah. seventh grade girlfriend's name. To mine, yeah. And then you, and then you would text me and yes. act like my girlfriend. Yes, I would. Uh, which, so what? You know, I mean, at least I, I wasn't mean, a virtual fucking rapper dropping the N-word, you know? Like, yeah, it could be worse, but it still. It could be absolutely worse. But no, absolutely. You would change, like, you would change, for instance, he changed one person's name to nice, thick, chin strap asshole. They you had, needed to know this person had a thick chin strap, which thankfully I did, and also understood the reference. Right. But, like, there was also someone that you named, like, Omega 9. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, there was a girl in high school that I was like had a crush on and had a crush on me, and her name was Opal. Now I remember. And uh, what does Omega Nine mean? You called her Omega Opal Oprah Omega Nine Oprah. That's what you would call her. That's what you called her. So you changed her in my phone to like Omega Nine, and I, like I understood it. Right. But also like it took me a while. Well, what are you gonna do? I was having fun. You were having a good time. Yeah, you couldn't really do that on my phone because. You didn't. You it only had like a shit. Yeah, and you had just like your friends. You didn't have any girls you were talking to. You wouldn't no. get numbers. You would get AIM and MySpace. That's where Joey operated. That's where he ran his fucking org. My what? Your org. Oh, my organization. Your 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 fucking Ponzi scheme. Yeah. Joey would put like oh, fuck, bro. You were such a conniving little sneak on fucking AIM and Instagram. Instagram, MySpace. That like you would do some shit where like it would be so subtle, but like I knew exactly what you would be fucking doing. Wait, what? Like there was like say hypothetically, complete hypothetical name. There was someone whose Instagram name was like Italian Bella with like a wink. 
Okay. You would follow them and then put a wink in your profile name. And they'd be like, oh shit, it's fucking Joe. That's what you <laughs> did. That's what you would do. I would do that? Yep. I don't remember that at all. Yep. There was also, I remember. That and, feels like something you would do. No, because I was a fucking piece of shit. Okay. I, I, and then there was also a time where I remember that <laughs> we would like, our friends were afraid. And they might not tell you this, but I, I swear to God this would happen. Oh. They might tell you. Our friends w- were afraid to bring girls around. Because oh here we go you would friend them on MySpace or whatever and then like you would just like subtly just like like a picture no and then like all of a sudden they were like whoa first of all that's not a real I'm telling thing. you it's what I, happened I I know why you're I'm bringing that up would happen no I, no that why because my girlfriend at the time left me no because you fucking played manhunt and hid with her you bitch first of all Frankie when we've you talked say, about Frankie we've when talked you about do this, that we talked about this enough Frankie when you do that though you you look at you. When you do that, you leave out so much shit and just make me look like an asshole. What do I, what do I leave out, Joe? Oh, oh no. 13-year-old you is a piece of shit, Joey. I wasn't a piece of shit. Welcome That's the to, point, you idiot. Welcome to the club. We all were miserable and no, assholes. You're miserable, so you're trying to bring I'm, me down I'm not you. miserable right now. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life, bitch. Okay, well, you're retroactively being miserable, and I, you're bringing me looking down. Looking back at me at 13, I was a little fucking asshole. You're being an asshole now. I'm being an asshole. Like, I'm holding your 13-year-old girlfriend's hand like, come hide with me. That was not what happened. No, I know that's not what happened. I never said... They don't. Who cares what they think, Joey? Me. Okay. (laughs) Okay. You're not the one who's Joey being buried here. You didn't... You didn't... Bro, I bury myself every fucking episode. (laughs) At least three or two times, okay? I sit here and talk about how my fucking dad didn't stick up for me and lied to me about it. Okay? (laughs) I say I sit here and I talk oh, about shut up. I talk about I'm using songs. Using songs. I'm saying slut hoe freak different girl the day of the week. I know, that's who you are though. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm like No, but that's also bullshit because when you're talking about like our friends were afraid of it, that's interesting. But no, what you're referring true. to no, it's not true. It is true. What you're referring to is one incident where one time uh, it was either Danny or, or Dominic mentioned some girl who went to St. John's and she friended me. And, and you I, liked her picture. I, and I liked her picture and they were like, oh, here we like I like seeked her out and sneakily went. That's not what happened. Uh, not what happened. I'm telling you, it was a conversation. They might not have looped you in because... Oh yeah, yeah. They, you know, they didn't want to. I'm letting the conversation, you know. I was immediately looped in. <laughs> I just want to let you know. It was a conversation. Yeah, everyone likes to fucking do these little tricks. They do look, look do little tricks. Okay, <laughs> fucking bitches. No, you obviously didn't steal my oh, girlfriend. And even bitching. if you did, oh, you think now I you're, care? Now you're being nice. Fuck you. Steal my wife. I fucking dare you. I'll kill you. I'll gut you at the fucking throat. I don't think that's an expression. <laughs> <laughs> gut you at the throat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we can. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can end that there. All right. Well, I'm starting to sweat. So it I is. It is hot you know, in here. F. Alvarez 8085 on Twitter. To Frank Alvarez Instagram. Go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. We get to twelve thousand. Joey and I are gonna do drag. Full drag. Full drag. It's gonna be fucking awesome. We cannot wait. So the quicker we get there, the quicker we get in drag. Tell your friends. Gift it to your friends. Tell your loved ones. Uh, they're canceling a little bit of student loan debt, so maybe you have a couple bucks, and you should probably <laughs> spend it on yourselves. But if you want to treat yourself a little bit, Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. Thanks again. Mwah. And you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato and go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time.